Hey guys, welcome back to Bear Mountain Builds, and today I'm gonna show you how to build this cedar planter box. Hey guys, I'm Zach and welcome back to Bear Mountain Builds. Now it's still a little chilly here in Minnesota, but I'm starting to get the itch for some spring. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build a great looking, super simple planter box using some inexpensive cedar fencing and some two by two. Now let's get started. I have plans for this entire project on my website, linked down below in the description. So for this video, I'm not gonna really get into the nitty gritty dimensions of everything, but I am starting off with cutting the side pieces and the structural two by twos. All right, so I got all the pieces for the sides of my planter box cut out, it went super fast. So now I'm gonna be moving on using some brad nails and glue to put this whole thing together. Let's keep going. I'm using a carpenter square to help hold everything in place. It's not absolutely required, but it sure does help. As long as these cedar side pieces are cut square, this goes together quickly. I'm focusing on one leg at a time and making sure the cedar is flush on the top and sides, then brad nailing each piece in place. Again, I'm using my carpenter square to hold everything square, hence the name, then gluing and brad nailing while making sure the sides are flush. With that, I'm moving on to the bottom of the box and cutting out four one inch strips and trimming them to length. These are gonna be the supports for the floor of the box. I'm flushing them with the bottom of the sides, but if you wanted to have a shallower box, you can set them at whatever height you want. I cut out three bottom planks and notch two to fit around the legs.
Then cut the middle to size and dropped it in. All right, so I got the whole structure of this box all done and it's looking really good. But now it's time to add a little bit of character to it. And for all these pieces, I'm just gonna glue them on. I'm not gonna nail them in place. I want them to be perfect. So first, I'm gonna be adding some corners on here and these will cover up my brad nail holes and cover up the two by two legs that are sticking out of the bottom. Along with, I'm gonna be putting a top piece that's gonna cover up these two by twos up here and give the overall box a more finished look. Now, hit the subscribe button for me and let's keep going. You want to pay attention to how you're putting these pieces on or else you can have mismatched corners. To help keep things straight, I'm mounting the thinner piece first and then mounting the wider piece after. I really hope it's not too obvious, but I love clamps. For the top piece, I stripped it to width and then mitered each end to bring it to length. I was accidentally off camera, but I am putting glue on each joint. Using two carpenter squares and my assembly table makes this really easy, but you'll do just fine with one carpenter square and a flat surface. Pro tip, save some cedar sawdust to rub into your joints to fill in any gaps. I'm using some weight to keep it flat. I loaded the frame with glue and matched up the inside corners of the top with the interior corners of the 2x2s. And with that, this planter box is done. All right guys, the cedar planter box is all done. It looks super good, really pleased with how it turned out. So hit the subscribe button for me so you can stay up to date on all my videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video at all and leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.